Hi everybody. Okay, so I have a small math call um, to do, and I'm also going to do a review on one of the things I just picked up, which is a new Mac 130 brush. So first let me show you everything, and then I'll move on to the small review. Okay, so the first thing, nothing really special. Mac wipes. Um, I got, I've never tried them before, and I haven't even opened them to smell them. See, still closed. So, I got these because, as you guys know, I, I have a baby who is like seven weeks old. He's growing up so fast. Um, but anyways, sometimes at the end of the day, I just don't feel like washing my face, which is horrible. It smells good. I don't know what people are talking about. It's kind of florally. I like the scent of it, but anyway, so I got these to put beside my bed on my nightstand, so that way, on those days where I don't feel like washing my face, which is a big no-no, um, I can just wipe off my makeup and everything, and I'm also going to put like a little moisturizer, I think, by my bed, so I can just like, if I'm laying in bed and realize I still have my makeup on, grab a wipe, wipe it off, and <laughs> throw on some moisturizer real quick. So, got those. Um, next. I went to MAC um, and searched for the blush, uh, the Ripe Peach Blush Ombre, and they're sold out, and that's okay, because they're expensive and I really don't need it. I have a lot of um, blush products already, <laughs> I have a dry skin patch, and it's so sad. Anyways, so I got the dun dun dun, Viva Glam Lady Gaga, and that's what I have on right now. And it's just a really pretty bubblegum pink, and I love it so much. I know you guys have probably already seen swatches of this, and that's what it looks like right there. Gorgeous. It's a luster, which is my favorite finish because it kind of gives a glossy glow to the lips without having to add gloss. Next lipstick, I backed matte for this, and this is called Bubblegum. And you guys, obviously now I had to have the lipstick named Bubblegum. It is a re-promote from one of the collections, and I can't remember what, but um, it's just a tad bit darker than the Lady Gaga, and it has a little bit more of a blue, like a lavender undertone to it. They're practically pretty close to the same, but it's the same color palette that I really like a lot, like I like baby pinks. And this is a glaze, so it's not going to, as you can see, the swatch is not as super duper intense as what this lipstick looks like, because it looks really lavender. Okay, next, because I love my Lush and Bright, uh, um, what are these called, lip jelly, <laughs> I decided to get another one, and this one is in Resort Life, and look how pretty that is. It's like a mix between Bare Necessity Dazzle Glass and like Love Nectar, and it's just so pretty. It's a pr pretty neutral color with some light um, pinky sparkles. Look at that, that is just so gorgeous on the camera. The way the light hits it. Amazing! And these are just so sparkly and so shimmery and so pretty. I love it. And they're so much cheaper than a Dazzle Glass, which is awesome. And that's what it looks like right there. So see, just a really pretty shimmery, neutral, sparky, sparkly color. I mean, come on. Look at those glitter sparkles. Love it. Love, love, love it. And last but not least, um... I decided to get the new MAC 130 brush, and this is it. It's dirty. I just used it. Um, I used it for foundation, and I love it. Um, I think I look pretty good, <laughs> if I do say so. <laughs> no, uh, but this is, it's so tiny. Like, I was not expecting it to be so tiny. This is a 188 brush. So look at the comparison. <laughs> I can't speak comparison. It's so tiny. It's like itty bitty. It's like an inch long, and like the stippling little dual fibers are like a half a centimeter. It's so tiny, and but it's really dense, so it's really good. Like it's small, and you think like, oh, it's gonna take forever to do my face, but it gets in very well, like underneath the eyes to stipple on um, concealer, foundation. Really good at getting into the cracks of the nose. And with it just being smaller, it's just really great and gives really good coverage really fast. Faster than you think because it's so little. Um, but I absolutely love this. It doesn't streak. I think because it's so much denser than the 188. And it's smaller and compact. It just really 
applies liquid foundation like a dream um, in comparison to the 187. It's so tiny. <laughs> it's a baby brush. It's so cute. I love it. Um, but yes, so that's my mini review. It's fantastic for liquids and creams and it's just so, it's a perfect size for getting into those small little face uh, places on your face and it just blends like a dream and it's soft and smooth and I really like it. I'm so happy I got it. Um, I do believe this is permanent so you can get your hands on it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so my camera decided to run out of memory because I'm recording in a higher quality so it fills up my memory card really fast which sucks but that's okay. So all I was saying is I love my MAC 130 brush. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. It's so perfect for foundation. I just can't get over it. And I just love, like at first I wouldn't think I like the size of it because it's so tiny. Like it's the size of my eye. Uh, <laughs> but it just does a really good job. So I would definitely recommend checking this out because I love it a lot. And you might too. Okay, so that's my little haul and review. I hope this helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Anyways, I hurt you guys all. Take care. Bye.